Hi guys, and welcome to Deadhead TV. I'm Callum, the host of this episode. I'm sorry it's been a while since I've last posted, but uh, last year has been really busy for me as I've been taking up a lot more scare and haunt work, and also I've been just getting busy personally anyway. That sounds dirty, but anyway, get on to the episode. Okay, so today I have been um, thinking about getting this mask for the past six or seven months. I would just get it because it's a cheap mask, but it's a cheap mask. I was worried it would it would um, come out shit because the pictures looked awesome, but some people have been reviewing saying that the mask was completely different to what they had actually received. So I was a bit hesitant. So I put my faith in a company, and luckily I got what I wanted. This is it. <laughs> this is my zombie mask. As you see, it's a full head mask with also a bit of the chest piece as well, which is ideal for a lot of my costumes because I have a rip down here, which I'll, I'll show you later. So as you can see, we've got sleepy eye mask, sleepy eye mask, sleepy eye zombie. So we've got one somewhat for the open eye here, and one not so open eye here. Does up at the back, and it's also a little bit tight on my head, but then again, I've got a huge head and a fat neck as well, so I'm gonna have to adapt it slightly. Overall, the paintwork isn't too bad. Uh, it's a bit purple for my liking, but it's a lot better than some of the others I've seen in the reviews. And uh, what I'll be doing, I'll add a bit more blood to the mouth and the eyes, and generally around these sort of skull fragmenty bits and pieces, because even though they do look good, I just don't like it for my sort of style of zombie. So I'll be adding more blood to them as well. But overall, not a bad purchase really. It was £13. Uh, I'm pretty sure I don't know how much that is in dollars, probably about $14, $15, or even $13 in the way the comedy is nowadays. So it's, it's a decent mask. But as I said, be careful because some people have been uh, have thought they're buying a mask like this and it came out nothing like it. It's, it was shocking some of the pictures I've seen. Almost like they spray painted blood here, there, and everywhere. So let's try it on. Wait. <laughs> there you go. As I am not fully dressed yet, I'll just show you this for now. I'll go and get my custom on shortly. So it is a bit tight around the face, unfortunately, and I may have to adapt the eyes slightly so I can actually see out of them. And uh, the mouthpiece is a bit smaller than where am I? I can't see. <laughs> it's a bit smaller than what I used to. So I'm probably going to open it up a little bit. In regards to breathing, it's actually not that bad. It's it's a bit small, the mouth, but I can still breathe out of it. I should say I am slightly hyperventilating, but that's only because I'm a big guy. Uh, overall, it's not bad. A bit, bit tight around the neck, but I can adjust that, so that's not too bad at all. But I should try it on my costume shortly, and we'll see what it's like. Now, uh, as I said, usually I have a bit of a slit here, so it will cover any skin perfectly. Uh, only thing I have noticed is once again the eyes. The minute I move around, I lose my eye bearings, you say, and it uh, is hard to try and find where I'm actually going. So I may have to cut the sleepy eyes out, which is a bit of a shame because they do look good. But at the end of the day, in a haunt, I need to know exactly where I am and where I'm going. So here's my haunt mask or um, a zombie mask. I'll be using it very soon in an attraction in Essex South End. So, we'll see how it goes. Till then, stay creepy guys. Bye!